Hey everybody, this is Clint Gage with Cinefix here at Slam Dance. I am with Gary Walco, one of the filmmakers who is in the Beyond program this year. Hey! Tell us a little bit about your project. Uh, well, this actually, this film, The Trouble with Dot and Harry, completes a trilogy. The first film was The Trouble with Dick, which won the grand prize at Sundance in 1987. Uh, I had then had a film called Crashing, which was a follow-up to The Trouble with Dick, which stars Lizzie Kaplan and David Cross, Campbell Scott, which was at Slam Dance in 2007. And this film is another follow-up to The Trouble with Dick, but in this case it stars my two children, Dot and Harry, hence The Trouble with Dot and Harry. What's it like working with your own children? Tough being both the father and the director on the set. Definitely conflated a couple of roles there. Right. There's yeah. a little bit of overlap somewhere in there. <laughs> the one film I've ever made, I wish I had a camera to do behind the scenes because it would just you know, have conversations with them on the set were almost like conversations in a movie. But that said, they really, it wasn't just them as my kids in the movie, it's them as acting. Cause, I mean, there's some very powerful acting, I believe, in the film. And it's not just me being proud dad right. i hope yeah. right, right um well tell us a little bit about what the the trouble with dot and harry is about the trouble with dot and harry is about a the first one was called the trouble with dick it's about a writer called richard kindred and in the case of this movie he is an american novelist he's a, and he's uh kind of down on his luck financially so he comes over to england to visit his ex-girlfriend because he's got a chance to write a magazine article and he's never met her kids before and uh and they're a handful and soon after he arrives, she needs to go off for a family emergency, and she leaves him with the kids. And he's a bachelor. He's never taken care of kids before. And he gets this assignment to write about high-end coffee shops around England. So he's got to take these two very reluctant kids on this uh, road trip. Also, Richard, don't you think we should have great snacks on this trip? Uh-huh. Yep, sure, okay. Crisps? Yes. Sweets? Yes. Oh, um, how about a snack budget? Okay. How much? A pound. Three pounds. Two. Three pounds. Two pounds fifty. Three pounds. Two pounds fifty and that is the cash. Each. Every day. <sighs> Fine. It's a deal. Okay, we have a deal. We'll go and pack now, then. Yeah, go pack and we can leave. Two pounds fifty a day. Don't tell mom ever. Two. Yes, two pounds fifty. Five pounds a day. Three nights. The kids have their own secret agenda. They've never met their biological father, and they tell him they want to go to this Nintendo shop. They'll do that if, if he then trade for going around to the coffee shop. So they've got a secret agenda. And it's like an American indie road film, but in England. Uh, being in this community for close to 30 years yeah. now, how, how has the landscape for independent filmmaking changed over the years? Well, I mean, the whole world has changed. It, very empowering, the digital technology. Back when, back when I made The Trouble with Dick, the bar was fairly high, and if somebody made a film, Say, so, oh, that person made a film. That's interesting. Who's that person? Whereas now you could you could basically make a feature with those cameras they're interviewing us with now, or I've got one in my bag, or you could make a, actually some people make films with their iPhone right. now. Mm -hmm. So the bar is much much lower in terms of actors. So that's why there's and the noise level is higher too in right. terms of like. I think even for Slam Dance, they had 6,000 submissions. So if uh, for people wanting to find out more about The Trouble with Dot and Harry, where can we go to find that out? You can go to dotandharry.com. You can even send me an email there. I'll probably answer you. There so you go. How's that for the personal touch? Sounds great. Well, thank you for uh, sitting down and chatting with us. We really appreciate it. And stick here on Cinefix for more of our Slam Dance coverage. Thank you.